if you found my channel, welcome. Remember that you are beautiful, you are amazing, and this video is a confirmation that you are on purpose and in the right place. If I talk fast, it's to bypass your mind and directly access your soul's listening. And I want you to trust in your soul and your higher self ability to understand past your mind and to remember what's needed as you need it. So grab a blanket, a cozy, healthy beverage, your journal, and set up on your meditation mat. Let's begin with a prayer. Beloved creator, may I always be protected from evils. May my ego come in service to my spirit. May I always be connected with two divine truth. May I listen with my spirit and hear with my heart, absorbing love and what is of my highest good. May I activate the miracles and blessings meant for me as I walk my golden path. In full faith, with grace and ease. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and I'll have links for all of my media at the end of this video. At any time, you can book a Lemurian healing session with me. I can do them distantly. I can do them in person if you live in Alberta, Canada. Um, so look for my contact information below and let's get into this week's video. So today I want to talk to you about the auric field. I get asked a lot of questions about auric field. I get asked a lot what color it is. And to me, it's a lot more complex than just a color. I see an auric field as an orb with computer programming in it. So your auric field is running all kinds of different programs, runs that, ones that run your body, ones that are illness, ones that are chronic behavioral patterns, the shape of your body, everything is basically coding that runs in the auric field. Now the auric field is made up of four components, the mental body, the emotional body, the physical body, and the spiritual body. The spiritual body and the physical body are run by your soul star chakra and your earth star chakra. Then the mental and emotional body, they're pretty much influenced by every chakra from the root up to the crown. So then, yeah, so then those are governed by your earth star chakra and your soul star chakra, which basically run your soul contracts. They run all the programs for the contracts that you chose before you came to this planet for your soul's growth and learning and journey. Then your third eye is your access point to most of these. It is also governed by your Ajna chakra, which governs the rest of your chakras. So it's very good for programming in new habits, new belief systems, uh, releasing any kind of chronic conditions or illnesses. And your third eye is really just your gateway to your sight. So it's your intuition, which is governed by your imagination. Yeah, it's just your visual channel. Now I'll go into the third eye in a little more in depth on another video. The imagination bit throws people off at times, but truly your imagination is your inner eye. It is your sight. We've just been taught to not take it seriously and that everything we imagine isn't real, but it is the key to visualization. It is the key to connecting with your angels and it is the key to connecting with your own inner healing abilities. Now the type of energy healing that I do with my clients I call Lemurian healing. Um, I have channeled it in from Lemuria. You see components of Lemurian healing in many aspects of energy healing today. Uh, basically, I use sound and I use um, sound, visualizations, crystals to reprogram your auric field. So I will do another video that goes more in depth on Lemurian healing so you all can know what it is about. But mostly Lemurian healing um, in regards to the auric field, we'll pull it apart in the layers that we're going to talk about. So spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical. And you can actually just pull off coating. So coating will be different colors. Coating that is um, bright colors or silver or gold will be really healthy for your aura. But we also contain um, coating that isn't healthy. So that will be more gray or dark energy. And I can literally use Lemurian healing to pull it off the aura and help 
reset long-term habits or patterns. And the coding, which I will do another video on as well, uh, basically is a running program. So say in a past life you did something repetitively, maybe it repeated past life to past life to past life, and it became a habit. Good example, relational problems or money, money problems are the most common. Uh, those could have been from past lives and it could have just been a, a pattern of energy repeating that just got stuck in the auric field. So you can actually do a past life clearing and remove that auric coding and replace it with divine coding, which helps you be more successful. So let's talk about the physical body. So that's the first, one of the first layers of the auric field. Now the physical body obviously is your body. It's your regulating systems. It is everything that I guess science and medicine talks about, okay? But it's so, so much more. Now it is also the house of your ego, which I believe is your operating system. So it's almost like the windows to your PC, right? Um, so it houses your personality. Now in that personality and those operating system, they're all linked. So you come here into this limited physical plane to gain soul growth. Now we gain soul growth um, through our challenges, through our soul contract, the people we chose as our parents, the people we chose as our family, all the experiences that we've had thus far. Now coming into this limited physical plane produces soul growth because we aren't able to ground the universal laws here as much yet because we are still an evolving species. We are still immature create discrepancies or voids in our physical auric field um, through our childhood programming and through past lives. So sometimes we'll just keep repeating a negative pattern until it just creates a void in our physical auric field. What will happen then is our spiritual body, our spiritual auric field, will begin to use some of its own energy to send to the physical body to bring you into balance until you ideally face your challenge, grow from it using meditation, prayer, even, you know, uh, neurology now and psychological processes. All of those things will actually help you grow. And then once you create those new pathways and that growth within your chakras and that growth within your physical auric field through life's challenges and meeting them, you will begin to rebuild those voids. Now the other way you can do it is through energy healing. So energy healing, we can see, some of us can see the voids, we can help rebuild them along with the divine, um, bring in new coding, build up those parts, especially if you've suffered trauma. Um, I mean, many of us have suffered trauma in this life and we've definitely suffered trauma in our past lives because like if you look at history, we have been very, very violent. So what I see a lot in my coaching practice is people come with very traumatic past lives that they don't remember and it's created these energy voids or these chronic health conditions or these chronic behavioral patterns and we can actually just fill the void, reprogram the energy field in the physical body and it will bring a lot of these things into balance. An example with the physical auric field that I'm talking about is perhaps someone was stabbed with a sword through their back just above their heart um, in a past life. So they could have chronic shoulder pain. One of my past lives, I was thrown from a carriage and I fell upside down and I broke my neck and that's how I died alone. And that created an abandonment issue in my auric field as well as chronic neck conditions. So I would constantly attract car accidents and fender benders and I'd always get whiplash. And then until I took that programming out and I healed that past life, I was then able to totally have no neck problems and no chronic pain there. So your subconscious mind holds two, two parts of programming. So your Akashic Records, which holds all the wisdom, the knowledge, the skills that you have built from all of the lives you've ever had. Now some souls are new and they haven't had that many lives, but most of the souls that are here now have had hundreds to thousands of past All life. the information and memories from all of the lives you've ever had. It holds all the knowledge, all the wisdom that you've built, all the skills that you've... Akashic Records holds all of that, whether it was traumatic, 
whether you were a spiritual leader or a teacher, just everything that you have ever learned, part of your subconscious programming is your childhood programming. So it is all the experiences that you've had thus far in your life right now. It'll hold um, all the blueprints and all the imprinting that you've seen your parents do. So we pretty much are a sponge and we're in a hypnotic state until we're about seven years old, just soaking in all the images that we see around us. So all, everything the adults are doing around us, everything we see in our culture, in our environment, at school, just anything that we're seeing or hearing, including the rules our parents tell us, but mostly we're absorbing behaviors and we're mimicking and we're programming ourselves to act like everything we see around us up until the age of seven. What is the mental body? So the mental body is obviously all the thoughts you think to yourself, your thought patterns, the ones that you consciously are aware of, and then it's also your deep subconscious world. Now, your mental body, we have been taught in society, is your major driving force. It is the power. Now, truly, it is very, very important when it comes to manifesting and when it comes to your auric field, it is the steering wheel. So think of that. A car can't go anywhere without a steering wheel, right? So you need your mind and you need it to be sharp and focused and clean to get where you're wanting to go, but it's not the be all end all. An example of working with the mental auric field will be chronic thought patterns that you have. Um, maybe you have a really negative inner critic. Um, maybe you've just had a lot of anger problems since you were young that were unexplainable or phobias that are unexplainable. And usually those will have been manifested in your mental body of your mental auric field. Now the third aspect of the auric field is the emotional body. So the emotional layer um, obviously houses all of your emotions. Now it's supposed to be your direct connection to creator. It's supposed to be your channel. Your emotions are your compass. They're supposed to guide you through life. You're supposed to follow your joy and what feels good. You're supposed to follow your heart. But because we have so much societal conditioning, we have a lot of interference with our emotions. So we have sometimes grown up and mislabeled our emotions. Um, we sometimes just have them overflowing and just completely turbulent because of the thought patterns from the mental field that are just overflowing and creating a lot of negative or electric energy. And the emotional body is really, really easy to balance in energy healing. And as you balance each layer and you ideally strive to have your spiritual body governing all the layers of your auric field and guiding you through your soul contracts, so the emotional body is your manifesting tool as well. So the more that you can just have calm emotions, centered in joy, um, centered in positivity and a positive vibration, um, you can really begin to manifest the things that you want in your life. You can also create more success. Now that being said, strong emotions that we often label negative are also guiding factors. Anger is a fuel that is supposed to be used to tell us we need change or to give us the energy that we need to push through a growth or the strength and courage we need to stand up against oppression or to really change a form of resistance inside of us. So negativity, sadness, crying, that cleanses your heart. That is how you release toxins from your auric field. So emotions that we um, you know, label negative a lot of the times are actually good for us. Like I said, they're your direct channel to the divine and they're, exact, they're how your soul helps you navigate through life. Examples of working with your emotional body is any kind of chronic anxiety, panic attacks, chronic depression, those are usually an imbalance in the emotional body. So we can use energy healing and fix the programming and the coding within that layer and completely dissolve those patterns or minimize them enough until we find the other problem in the other layers of the auric field until they are completely healed. What I'll talk about is the spiritual body. So this is the layer of the auric field that we are usually conditioned by society to ignore or we have disconnected from just through belief system, by those stigmas, habits that we've had or choices that we've made or just even things we choose to engage in, media, negative habits, negative relationships, um, some of the things that we've been conditioned to think are fine are actually bringing down our auric field. Words have a very, very strong vibration. The things we say, the things we talk about to ourselves. And then as a society, the violence that's in the media that really desensitizes us and sets us off 
from feeling our soul because our soul is so gentle and so subtle and so peaceful that when we're watching all this violent action, we just don't have the sensitivity that we need to connect to it. So the spiritual body, ideally, again, will create those voids that we talked about in the physical body. So we can create the voids and the kind of um, overcompensation between the physical body and the spiritual body because they'll send energy back and forth. So whenever your auric field or your programming doesn't have enough to get you through something that you need to survive, it'll literally send energy back and forth. So the physical body will send energy to the spiritual and the spiritual will send energy to the physical and so on and so forth. And then both can create voids. So again, with energy healing or with spiritual growth, you can refill those voids. You can even ask yourself in prayer, um, connecting with creator and asking to fill those voids is a very, very effective healing method. And then once you start filling those voids, you'll just notice that you, everything comes into balance. Your thoughts become better. You can manifest things quicker. You are in line with your soul contract because your spiritual body is governing all of your auric fields and your chakras. And then also you'll notice you can heal from traumas quicker. You can pretty much create anything. You can change the shape of your body. It's actually extremely interesting once you start to get into it all. Now your spiritual body holds your soul contract and it holds all of your connection to creator. So the more that you get in line with that, the more that you line up your chakras and your auric field with that, the faster you will manifest because manifestation isn't just what we think about like we're taught. Remember, it's the steering wheel. It's also just being in line with your soul's contracts, what your soul's purpose was in coming here. The more in line you are with those things, the more that you will be able to manifest because you'll be on track with what you actually came here to do. That's a huge component in it. The body, which is governed by your soul star chakra, is your direct contact to your soul. Ideally, in energy healing um, or in your spiritual path, you want to get your spiritual body um, to be governing your whole body. There's meditations that I have called rooting that I can link in this video that connect your uh, soul star chakra down below your feet to your earth star chakra and completely balance out your auric field. And then when you're doing the work, either working on yourself or Lemurian healing, um, pranic healing and Reiki sometimes touch, you can really get all of your auric field um, in a very balanced state. So you feel calmer, more relaxed, you'll be more successful, it'll be easier to learn or build new habits. That's why energy healing is so beneficial. Then there's other things we can do, which I'm gonna go into another video next time on coding but you can literally reshape your body. You can change your skin. Be guided to through your energy fields to what works best for you. Your soul holds all of that information. It's all held within your spiritual body. So when you start to work on the layers of your auric field and become sensitive to them, and you really work on meditation and energy healing, working with a really good coach is helpful. So just connecting to your angels. But when you start working on all these aspects, you can really integrate them into your life now and you start to just become a better person, your natural purpose and gifts come through, which makes you happier, and you can really heal a lot of the chronic mental illness that is plaguing our society, or even chronic health conditions, so you're not so reliant on medicine. That's it for today. Let me know below if you liked this video, if you want me to go more in depth. I kind of touched a little bit on each of the of the aspects of the auric field, but there's so much more to them. It's just such a beautiful process when you start working with your energy and you just see the whole world that opens up that is outside the senses that we're taught about and outside um, your, your physical body and even your natural plane of sight. I'll finish with a prayer. Beloved Creator, Mother, Father, God, we give thanks for our angels and we thank you for connecting to us and blessing us on our path and our journey to our highest good, giving us courage and strength to follow our spiritual path and do the work that is required of us to grow. We ask for continued blessings on our projects, our relationships, our loved ones, and we ask for continued guidance as we move forward. We ask for blessings on the planet. May all beings know peace, joy, and love. May all beings be free in service to unconditional love and light and in full faith. Amen. 
If you like this video, please subscribe. Click the link below.